up guys, I'm Henry Gracie, Eve Gracie, newlyweds, new puppy, six and a half, seven months old, and uh, it's been uh, quite the interesting journey. Our dog has, um, is pretty famous, he has about 3,000 Instagram followers, but the problem is, even though he can do all these fancy tricks, he doesn't actually listen. Um, if we get him outside, we get him in public, for sure he has to be on the leash, and if he's on the leash, he's tugging like a beast, and uh, if he's off the leash, then he's running, chasing cats, chasing kids, chasing things, running across streets, right? Like, yep. just running into the street. Come didn't exist. Yeah. Come? Come is like, he looks at you. He gives a little, like, what do we call this right here? Bobblehead? He looks <laughs> at you with the bobblehead and doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Come. Come, Chokey. Come, Chokey. Come on. Chokey. Come, Chokey. Let's not even talk about out in public off of a leash. Let's not even talk about well, being out. It didn't exist. We can have mom. No, it was a hazard for his safety, for our, our safety, everything. our emotional safety. Even if you got hit by a car, it was Whenever crazy. I took him on walks, he was pulling, he was constantly biting at the leash. No, he was like, pulling the leash. Put it this way we thought we chose an Australian Shepherd who, in his hidden disguise, wasn't actually one of those uh, uh, Alaskan Huskies who pulled the sleigh and they take Santa Claus. No, those are reindeer. But the other thing that pulled, we thought we had the wrong dog because he's pulling so hard. Yeah. Forget about the door manners either. No, no doorman. Doorbell door. rings, the guy goes exactly. crazy, wants out. If you open the door, even on the leash, he is gone. He would jet gone. down the street. And if there was, was a, if he would get out. And if there was a cat, forget about it. He's not coming back until he gets the cat or the cat disappears into some tree somewhere. So we loved him, but it yeah. wasn't gonna happen. Super tough. The word heel, the term heel, did not exist in his vocabulary. He would just kind of freestyle, just run laps, figure eights around you, and uh it, No bite. Sorry. Out. 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 Chokey. Drop it. <laughs> Drop him out. I'll <laughs> <laughs> just try anything. Hey. Chokey. Hey. Sit. Shh. Stay. Hey. Stay. Hey. Stay. 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 Open the door. Mm -hmm. Wait. Let me open the door. Chokey. Stay. Stay, stay, Chokey. <laughs> Chokey. Crazy dog. Look at this, he's gonna break his neck on the leash. Come on, bro. Chokey, stop biting. Shh, shh. Chokey. Chokey. Sit, sit. Hey, sit. Going for a walk. We're going for a crazy walk. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't let go of the freaking thing. Chokey. Chokey. Oh my. There you go. So this is Chokey's healing. This is Chokey's heel right here. <laughs> oh gosh. Other dog. Look at this pole. Chokey, heel. 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 <laughs> Make sure to lock it so you can come in. Sit. Hey. Sit. Stay. Hey. Stay. Hey. Stay. That's how you have to leave every day. <laughs> That's how you have to leave because you're crazy. I was trying hard to train him these things, but I started to lose faith that it was possible. And then we were introduced to off-leash canine training. I'm gonna say the name one more time to so understand the nature of the seriousness. Off-leash canine. Just the very name of this. Nick White, the owner of Off-Leash, contacted me, knew I had a dog, and said, Henry, your dog's cute, beautiful, and amazing, but let me know if you ever wanna have an obedient dog. And when he said that, he struck a chord. <laughs> So, long story short, we arranged for Nick to come out to California and spend one week here at the house. And we made it happen so that it was during the week of the Gracie Immersion Camp where we were in Florida on the beach having fun, getting choked, jujitsu, jet skis, blasting over there. He was here working with the dog and taking Chokey to the next level. When we returned, it was hard to fathom. Give an example. Yeah, he's a brand new dog. In oh wait, let, let me rephrase that. He's still the same dog. He's still happy and friendly and wants to play and still high energy, but he actually does what I tell him to. No, forget doing what you tell him to. Off leash, in the public, 100% obedient, 100% heal. 
The guy never leaves a three, five foot radius of you with distractions, people, dogs, anything. And he's on 100%. You guys, you have no idea what this means. When we look at other people who wear leashes, when we look at other people who wear leashes, other dogs who wear leashes with their owners holding the leash, what do we think to ourselves without being too cocky about it? Uh, we're a little snobby now. We look at them and say, oh, you know, no, just no obedience, no respect. They have to wear a leash. Yes, they have to wear a leash. Chokey, 100% off leash. <laughs> just about to finish this entire sushi meal. And this kid right here hasn't moved a muscle the entire meal. Off leash, 100%. What more could you ask for? Dining with Chokey. Good boy. No, but my favorite part is for sure the heel. I mean, there before it was like I heel didn't mean anything. Number one, even with the leash, he still wouldn't heel. <laughs> so now you tell him heel. Number one, he'll just run over, sit next to you, and then if you're walking, he'll match your speed. So if you're running, he's running next to you. If you're walking slowly, he walks slowly next to you. And for me, this is just such a huge relief because I was embarrassed. I, even taking him to like our doggy daycare, we take him yeah. to sometimes. I just felt like they always looked at me like you have no control of your dog. Slow. And then say his name and stop. And then point and tell him inside. inside. Here's my favorite part. You sit him down. No matter what you do, if you sit, you down him, you lay him down, anything, he doesn't break from the position until he's told. This is major. This is a huge deal. Chucky, sit. He's passed out, otherwise he would sit over there. <laughs> you tell him to sit, the kid sits and he stays. And you can walk 50, 100, 200 feet away, and at that point you can say down, you can say come, he comes running, whatever. The whole point is he doesn't change until you break him from his original command. It's unbelievable. Wait. Tell. Sit. Sit. Good. Down. And then release. Sit. Come, Chokey. 
Good. One of my favorite things, the street crossing. Yes. Because that was a big concern for me when I would walk him, is that he would just run out into the street. Right. So we, we actually specifically told Nick that we want him to work on him not just running out in the street every time that street comes up. So now we stop at a street. He sits. He sits. And then we can even walk across and he will wait. He does not cross the street across. until permitted. I know five-year-old kids who don't do that. <laughs> Now let's talk about door manners, you guys. This idea that the doorbell rings, door opens, he barks crazy, or runs out into the public, into the street. Think of the past. Yes. Check it out. Laundry. I know a lot of people are concerned, this was one of my concerns too, is that of course the trainer can train the dog and the dog will listen to the trainer because they're professionals. But my biggest concern was that I would come home and even though he was perfect with Nick, that with me he wouldn't listen. And that's not the case. With two hours of working with Nick, now we really have a good understanding of how to continue his training, how to keep practicing, and he's only going to get better from this point. And yes, he does listen to me, he does heal to me, he does sit when I tell him to. It's amazing. I never thought he'd actually listen to me me at all. <laughs> yes. so, but of course Henner needs the party tricks, right? Gross. I need the obedience, Henner needs the party tricks. Listen, what good is a Gracie who doesn't know jujitsu? <laughs> Choki, sit. Sit. Choki. Block. Block. Take it back. Pass the guard. Down. Yeah, yeah. Chucky, what if the what if the dog is freaking huge? Hold guard. Inverted guard. Okay, 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 shrimp, 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 shrimp. Okay, okay, man. Okay. 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 You guys, what the Gracies are to jujitsu, Nick and off-leash canine training are to professional dog training. Thank you guys much respect. Chucky!